Hey everybody, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I uh, just wanted to kind of give you guys a glimpse into my Audible uh, audiobook collection and kind of what I'm listening to. Now, my favorite books uh, center around sort of post-apocalyptic, uh, dystopian, SHTF, zombie, science fiction, video game, you know, related uh, books. So... Since a lot of people are spending more time sort of inside, I figure I would just, you know, talk audiobooks with you guys for a few minutes. So let's check it out. This is my audio, uh, my collection on Audible. Now, before I, you know, joined Audible, I bought a ton of books off of iTunes. So I kind of have to, to split between, you know, my iTunes collection and then the the audible collection here but we're gonna I'll, I'll tell you about what i have on on apple toward the end here but straight away we have this book by sean platt uh, invasion book one now of course title gives it away it's about an alien invasion not zombies but the book uh so far i'm not finished yet it's good i really don't have anything negative or a reason to tell you not to try it so yeah it's not it's not bad so far now Michael Stephen Fuchs uh, the last stand uh, the arisen this is in the arisen series of books these books are good I really enjoy them um, you can you, you can get combos on the on these books as well uh, so that that's really good uh, Jason Bryant the hunger omnibus edition of course it's an omnibus edition so you take one audible credit you get all three books let's see so you get for one audible credit you get book one which is the devoured book two which is consumed book three which is ravaged now these books these books are good they are zombie kind of and the reason I say that is because this blonde chick here she of course is one of the main characters along with our male character who you meet at the very very beginning of the book and sort of the focus he thinks the outbreak of course is zombies when he runs into this chick she describes them as vampires and she uses the very straightforward logic of they bite you you turn you know that's it and oddly enough they have some kind of physical some kind of physical reaction to garlic and sunlight you know so yeah there's that so yes but it was a good it was a good book and or books and being that you can get all three for one audible credit, uh, it's it, these three books are worth one credit, absolutely. And the mere fact that when you take one credit, you're getting 21 hours and two minutes worth of content. So, yeah, I would do, you know, I would definitely recommend that to anybody all day long. A Cyber Armageddon box set, uh, when I, whenever I have like four or five built up credits, I'll, you know, kind of get on a, kick where I'll just go through the audible library and I'll look for box sets or you know the, the omnibus editions where they package multiple books together and this was just one I picked up I haven't really listened to it yet so I really can't speak on it but yeah that was part of a shopping spree I did uh, now I am into World of Warcraft so uh, this this is a, uh, a uh, the well of eternity it's a, a war of the ancients book and I'm actually listening to this book now, and it's it's really good. And and the author Richard A. Knack, he, he does his books are good, so you can, you know, you can you can bet on him as an author. Lost Valley, by Walt Browning. I haven't listened to it yet. It's another book that I got just late late night browsing. Let's see, The Redemption. Uh, I haven't finished this book yet. And same with with this one, the bite-sized offerings. Now, thirty-one tales and legends of the zombie apocalypse. This is a compilation of you know you can see here it's, it's multiple authors, so it's it's just 
you know, authors contributing like kind of short stories to this. And I do apologize. A lot of these books, you know, right up here at the beginning, I haven't listened to because these are books I've recently purchased. Uh, same goes for the Zombie up Uprising series. Haven't haven't given them a listen yet. Now, Spellmonger, Spellmonger was, it's it's a book. It's a high fantasy book, so it has you know um, magic users and stuff in it. And of course, by the title Spellmonger, you know Spellmonger is kind of you know it's, it's a war mage, and he. In this book, the war mages, when they retire, I guess, he goes to, you go to find you some village where you, in your retirement, assume the role of like the protector and the sage of the village, because obviously you're going to be, you know, the most intelligent and most resourceful. And of course, it's a book, so... Your character is not going to retire in peace, so a lot of stuff starts happening, and there you go. It's not bad. Now, Sean Liskam, the these ranch books, uh, the Jack Sterling's Legacy, these books are very good. Highly recommend these two books. Um, this, they're not zombie books, so uh, this is a EMP. If I remember correctly, yeah, EMP. So. Not to give away too much, but main character has a brother, their father, who was kind of MIA from, from you know from their life, but did a lot of stuff for the government. He built a bunker on a lot of land in Middle America, and had some people who he was able to recruit that became part of that compound. And when the father died, he wanted the sons to come there and sort of take over everything because it's sort of their birthright and he in the, these books it you know of course it's written to where oh yeah it, you know these things happen where this facility this bunker is needed so yeah that happens now it's, like i said no zombies just you know roving bands of you know idiots uh, you know, murderers, rapists, thieves, you know, stuff like that. So that's, that's what they deal with. But, you know, books are written very well, enjoyed them, worth the, cre worth the audible credit, hands down. Nicholas Sansbury Smith, Extinction Inferno, The Extinction Cycle, worth it, 100%. These are good books. If you haven't been exposed to this, these books yet, do it. You, you you know, I'll, I'll recommend them. Okay, W.J. Lundy, Whiskey Tango Foxtrot series. If you haven't listened to them, don't know what you're waiting on, get on it. They're worth it. They're really good. Uh, again, this is Bound by Honor, another Whiskey Tango Foxtrot novel. Last Wish. If you play the Witcher video game and you like that story... Uh, the, these are some of the books around the Witcher that revolve around that sort of that game and, and the stories in that game. So if you like that, you'll like these books. There's more than one. Uh, again, I told you, I like video game stuff. So Halo books, um, I really like the, you know, all the authors that write for at least smart authors. And I'm going to say that, you know, very respectfully but if you're going to write for a property especially a video game or something like that then of course it, it pays for the author to understand the environment in which they're going to write the foundation of the uh, the intellectual property the characters and then just expound on that because uh, you know you're the, the the audience that's going to buy that book are going to be fans of that universe so, you know, for Halo, you know, people want to read about Spartans, Master Chief, that story. And for the most part, now, when you buy books about Halo, that's what you're getting. So you can't go wrong. Knock on wood. Now that I said that, I'll probably get a Halo book that sucks. But it is what it is. Uh, more Nicholas Sansbury Smith here. This was a box set I was able to get with books four, five, and six. Uh, 
so that was that was a good deal for me. Uh, another Nicholas Sansbury Smith here, uh, books one, two, and three. Okay, Michael Stephen Fuchs, the Arisen books, they are good as well. Now again, these books are your your typical SHTF, you know, zombie fair books. They're good. I recommend them. Zombie Lake. Negative. Negative Ghost Rider. I, I did not like it. And again, any of these books that I'm, I'm telling you that I'm recommending or that are good and that are not good, I'm not going to go into great detail just in case you want to pick these books up. I, I, you know, I don't want to sit here and tell you what they're about. But if you have any questions, you know, you want to or recommendations or criticisms whatever comment down below and i will try to respond to you uh, if you want to know more about my thoughts on any of these particular you know any of these books in particular if you want to know any more just you know, hit me up and and I'll, I'll i'll do my best to uh accommodate whatever questions you may have uh again halo fall of reach this is a really good book really good book uh here's another one, gears of war uh ashford fields it, it was it was good it was good you know and again with with these kind of intellectual properties it's really hard to mess them up unless you just go way off the rails with them you know now uh timothy long and the z risen books this is uh a a, a combo here of book three and book four uh poisoned earth and uh, the reavers highly recommend first off let me just get that out highly recommend you will learn to love this guy, Machinist Mate First Class Jackson Creed, and Marine Sergeant Joel Cruz Kelly. You will love these two guys. These books, these books are awesome for for your typical zombie fare. You know, these books are really, really good. Z14, not gonna tell you a whole lot other than didn't really care for them. Starcraft Evolution by Timothy Zahn. Star Wars people, you know the name Timothy Zahn. This is this is a good book if you like the StarCraft universe, you know, the games and the stories that are in the games revolving around the Terran, the Protoss, and the Zerg. This book goes primarily about the Protoss. So if you like these books, you know, if you like the game, I should say, you, you, you'll, you'll like the books. <clears throat> Another World of Warcraft here. Uh, this is Arthas, Rise of the Lich King. Now, if you play WoW, you know, I've, I've played WoW ever since Burning Crusade. So, when we got to uh, Wrath of the Lich King, that was my favorite expansion. Most of you out there that played WoW typically agree that WoW was, uh, that um, Wrath of the Lich King was the best expansion. If, if that's your view, I agree with you. And I really loved everything about that expansion, including the fight against the Lich King. And this book, written by Christy Golden, she has done a awesome job with all of her books that she has written uh, and expanded the stories from World of Warcraft. She's done a really good job. I really enjoy this book. If you like Wrath of the Lich King and you want to know more about Arthas, especially from like the him being a kid growing up, um, having the influence uh, of the Lich King and 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 all that and and you know like the Culling of Stratholme and all that kind of stuff. If if you're just into that, you know this is a good book. You won't be disappointed. Zulu Virus Chronicle box set. It, it was it was okay. Um, I I would say because it is the three book set for one credit, it wasn't terrible. Uh, you know you 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 won't. You won't really be mad if if you got this book and listen if you got you know this box set and listen to it. It's not bad. Uh, zombie rules by David Accord. I, I didn't like it. Sorry, dude. The zombie rules. I didn't really like it. It it it. Yeah, I I just really didn't enjoy it. Okay, Timothy's on. Thrawn alliances. If you like the. George Lucas Star Wars universe, not the Kathleen Kennedy universe. And in The Mandalorian, there is a scene with Ahsoka Tanu where she's fighting 
this uh, lady on on one of these planets, and she asks, you know, where's Grand Admiral Thrawn? And if you don't know who that is, if you haven't got into in, into any of the extended fiction, this is a book uh, Timothy Son wrote specifically dealing with Grand Admiral Thrawn. Now, he also wrote the the original extended fiction, which is this next book here, which is book three, The Last Command. These books, and, and actually this book, book two, Dark Force Rising, uh, these books are ones, if you're a Star Wars fan, and you like the original, the original trilogy, four, five, and six, I'll go ahead and just throw it out there, and one, two, and three, but not so much Kathleen Kennedy and, and the new the new vision of Star Wars. These books, the Thrawn trilogy here, it takes place after Return of the Jedi, and they are very, very good, very good. And it's sad because if you if if Lucasfilm would have just took this, not not made a movie out of these books, but just sort of skirted what what Timothy Zahn did with the extended universe there, the extended fiction here for what happened after Return of the Jedi. It would have been so good. And and if they would have made Galaxy's Edge, you know, what it was originally going to be, yeah, Disney wouldn't be hurting for money right now. They, they, they'd be printing money. But anyway. Uh, R.A. Salvatore also here. Let's see. We got uh, Legend of Dritz, Icewind Dale trilogy. It took me a long time to warm back up to R.A. Salvatore, and I still, to this day, haven't really fully warmed back up to him because I love all of the, you know, a lot of the old D&D stuff, which, you know, all the uh, Margaret Weiss and Tracy Hick Hickman stuff, all those books are awesome. You know, the Dragons of Spring Dawning, Autumn Twilight, you know, all those books, all of the... The Tale of the Twins, Test of the Twins, War of the Twins, you know, uh, those books are awesome. All the Forgotten Realms, D&D stuff. And this book is, is good. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and say this book's good. And uh, Ari Salvatore wrote a three-book set of Dritz, because this is, this is the Icewind Dale trilogy. He also has another trilogy of books that he wrote about Dritz, this one character, Dritz Du Erden who is a, a dark elf and really beloved by the the D, D community you know just you know if you know you know if you don't you're like oh i don't know what you're talking about but anyway he wrote uh, a trilogy of books that i i actually had to read them and i actually bought them all on hardback and the first two books were so good and I've never had as much anticipation for a book releasing ever in my life than I did that particular series of books. And that third book was such a letdown, it made me just really want to just take the book and just throw it, chunk it as hard as I, as, you know, as far as I could. And I didn't want to ever see anything from Ari Salvatore ever again. It took me quite a while to, to get this book and, uh, and give it a whirl. And it, it, it was not bad. Uh, Stephen Chesser, In Harm's Way, Surviving the Zombie Apocalypse. I tried to get into these books. They just really weren't my flavor. It's just it's just a little bit different. They're not bad, but again, when you're talking books, you're talking about individual tastes. So everybody, everybody's going to have a little bit different taste. You know, things aren't going to be universally liked by everybody. So you may like these books. Are, are they worth the audible credit? Yes. I will say that. Yes. Get the first one. If you like it, there you go. You got you you got your couple books to listen to. And going into that, I'm gonna say the same thing about the Zombie Road. These these Zombie Road books, there's a lot of them. I think there's like uh, there's four there. Uh, there may be a fifth book or a sixth book. I, I don't know, but they're good. These books are good. And the the only problem I had with the Zombie Road books was is later down the road is, is down the road with them you know after you get a couple books in it's it the story kind of starts dragging a little bit and and i kind of felt out of favor a little bit with them but that could have just been me I, I could just be you know dumb so i don't know peter meredith apocalypse undead world this book wasn't too bad 
it was another one that I saw and I just kind of read the synopsis of it looked at some of the reviews got it gave it a try it's, it's not bad it's, it's different so you know I would say if you know I would say this book is worth the the credit and then we got another World of Warcraft book before the storm this is another Christy Golden book and again it, it was good it's good so you, you, you're not going to go wrong if you love World of Warcraft you like the story the Chris, Christy Golden uh, she was getting her story stuff I believe I don't know I just go by what I what I read was getting direction from Chris Metzen and I believe that's why those books the the sort of the framework of those books was so good was because it was coming from Chris Metzen so but anyway we got Peter Meredith another Peter Meredith book Generation Z like I said you know it, it was good I, I enjoyed it B.V. Larson's Steel World. This is straight up, straight up science fiction, space science fiction. Not bad. Uh, These Deadlands in Malaysian, Stephen Knight, Scott Wolf. Um, I just couldn't get into it. Couldn't get into it, man. This is one I may, and what I do, I, I've, I've listened to books, of course, more than once, and I go back and revisit books because sometimes, for whatever reason, you know, I, I've listened to a book, not really felt it took a break come back listen to it again and got into it so that's probably gonna be what i'm gonna do with this book is just kind of go back into it give it another shot uh craig uh, allenson a spec ops expeditionary force uh these books are good science fiction stuff so if you and, and i believe there's a lot of these books in this series so if you like this kind of stuff you'll probably like that okay Again, this is Z Risen. This is uh, Outbreak and Outcast. So this is a two, two for one, two for one deal. Like I said, these, these books are good. Timothy Long, man, Jackson Creed and and, and Cruz Kelly, man, you'll you'll love, if you haven't gotten into those, do it. You you will not, you know, you'll you'll not regret it. Uh, Sean Chester, um, man, the trudge. The, these these this surviving the zombie apocalypse. This is another one that <clears throat> I don't know, man. I, I would just say, you know. This is going to be a, a book that I would say just, you know, if, if you want to roll the dice on it, you may like it, you may not. It's it's different, you know, the, the tempo to it and everything. You, you may like it, you may not. You know, it was one of those ones that it... <clears throat> It didn't. It didn't keep keep me going. So, it, and, and it's going to be one of the ones that I go back and 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 listen to it again to see, you know, maybe if I like it on the second go around. Uh, Columbus Day, another expeditionary force book. Okay, J. L. Bourne, <clears throat> a day by day series. Uh, these books are good. They're good. You will enjoy them. Give them a try. Uh, W.J. Lundy, Whiskey Tango Foxtrot, absolutely, you will like them, they're good, the books are good. Uh, let's see, and he's got several books in that series, including some sort of, uh, some precursor uh, books, or I think it's maybe just one book that goes back, it's like a .5 version, you know, book. Uh, let's see. Okay, now in the W.J. Lundy books, uh, he also has outside the Whiskey Tango Foxtrot series, he also has this Invasion trilogy. Invasion trilogy and Whiskey Tango Foxtrot, two different type of books, but still very, very good. So if you if you you know want your straight up zombie fix, uh, go to Whiskey Tango Foxtrot, get into those books. And then when you want something a little bit different, get into the Invasion Trilogy. Because it's really good. Again, Michael Stephen Fuchs, Maximum Violence, another Arisen book. Really good. I enjoyed. Okay, another Arisen. Books 1 through 3. Like I said, these books are good. Peter Meredith, Apocalypse Crusade. It's a, it's a book where I'll just say, you know, you can look at reviews all day long, but... It still comes down to individual taste. Um, this book, I can take it or leave it, and I'm not trying to be overly critical of it, but it wasn't bad. 
and then uh, this AG Riddle book, Pandemic Extinction Files. This is a this is just a typical uh, sort of bad bad virus type book that you, that you're gonna get. Okay, now books that I have on on my uh, that are on my Apple my iTunes account are by an author named DJ Molay. And it's about a character called Lee Harden. Now he has a Lee Harden, as you can see here, a Lee Harden series of books. They're good. But he has these, the remaining series. Awesome. Awesome books. Only thing I will say about these books. These books also have Lee Harden. He, it, it, the, the way he writes the character is you, you will be frustrated a, a, a lot of times with this character because, you know, you're like, oh, what are you doing? You know, that kind of deal. You'll get that, but it's okay because it's written to be more real. And people definitely, in, in, in the zombie apocalypse, man, people going to be making some bad choices and making, you know, you know mistakes and stuff so it, it's 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 okay all right let me let me look at my phone real quick and and just run over real quick some stuff that i have on itunes okay something i want to tell you real quick a book called heaven's devils uh it's a starcraft 2 book but you don't have to necessarily be a starcraft 2 person to enjoy this book and I'm gonna tell you it's written by William Dietz it is an awesome book you do not have to love Starcraft to enjoy this book it's just a very very well written book again heavens devils it's awesome it's an awesome book uh, let's see Richard Knack uh, World of Warcraft book called Wolfheart it was good some more JL Bourne more JL Bourne DJ Molay WJ Lundy Basically, those three authors, DJ Molay, J.L. Bourne, W.J. Lundy, you can't go wrong. Just just, just get those books. You'll, you'll, you'll enjoy them. Uh, Max Brooks, of course, you know, World War Z. You got to, you know, you got to have that. It was good. And also, uh, Guillermo del Toro, uh, The Strain. Uh, there was a series of shows uh, made uh, off the adaptations of off those books the books are really good uh, I think there's three books in that series I think I can't remember right off the top of my head but anyway check them out Gil, uh, uh, Del Toro and Chuck Hogan Chuck Hogan also co-authored those books so uh, check them out uh, it's the strain if you just go to uh, matter of fact Matter of fact, let me just go up here and type in the strain and see what we get. We should get it. Because I don't think those books were just... There we go. Yeah. Okay, The Strain is book one. The Fall is book two. And then The Night Eternal is book three. Yeah. Those books are good. I really enjoyed them. Uh, let's see. Halo, Ghost of Onyx. Halo, Grasslands. Uh, now, another good book from Christy Golden is War Crimes for World of Warcraft. If you're into if you're into World of Warcraft, that's a, it was a good book. Uh, Richard Knack also did Dawn of the Aspects for World of Warcraft. It was a good book. Uh, another Christy Golden was Rise of the Horde. Is it was good. Okay, now if, speaking of Star Wars, okay. If you like, or if you maybe you don't even play, but there's an MMO called Star Wars: The Old Republic. It is a very, very good MMO if you like Star Wars. And there's also these three books from the Old Republic. Or no, there's four books. Yeah, four. I don't know, forgive me, I don't know the order. It, the, the books are all in there, and, and I usually go back and listen to them out of order anyway. But there's a book called uh, Re Deceived, Fatal Alliance, Revan, and Annihilation. And those books are from Star Wars The Old Republic. And those books are really, really good. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Okay, if you like zombie 
zombie type books and stuff. I'm just going to show you this. Star Wars Death Troopers. All right, you can just look that up, Death Troopers. Because that book was good. Let's see, it's a, <laughs> yeah, Imperial Prison Barge. They got all these, you know, undesirables, but they're also doing, you know, some, some genetic uh, shenanigans. Yeah, it was good. It was it was it was different. It was it was very different. So, but it was good. Well, let's see here down the road here. Starship Troopers, Starship Troopers. I'm gonna tell you, if if you are at the age where you saw Starship Troopers the movie, okay, and you want your mind mind to just go of where you take this book, Starship Troopers, right here. Get this book, read it listen to it whatever but it is how they got the movie from this you're like how because if the book this book was so much better than starship troopers the movie my opinion okay my opinion so yeah uh let's see and the last thing i wanted to talk about that i have a lot of sort of experience with is mark tufo let's go in here and Type in Mark Tufo. All right, <laughs> as you can see here, at the zombie fallout, you got you know book fifteen. So if you get invested in this, you got a lot of content to go through. And the reason why I wanted to bring up Mark Tufo last is because when I listened to the first zombie fallout book, which I think it's just called Zombie Fallout. Uh, let's see, yeah, right here, Zombie Fallout. The story of Michael Talbot. I was, I believe, I believe I was, I was just into straight up zombie, just normal zombie apocalypse, not normal ZA stuff. And I, I will say one thing about this book, and, and sort of give something away. In this book, it's it's really good. Okay, first off, let me just say that. It's really good. But you are getting way more than you bargained for in Mark Tufo's books. Because he's, he's going to give you zombies. Okay, he's going to give you zombies. He also gives you vampires. A vampire that gets bit, like, bit by a zombie. Right? So imagine how that works. A decaying, a decaying, immortal, sort of regenerating being. You know, let that sink in, okay? So if you like, if you can handle having more than just zombies. Like, I'm, I'm for real, man. You, when you get into them books, man, buckle up. Because he's going to take you, he's going to take you down the road of, of zombies uh, vampires and later later down in the series werewolves matter of fact hang on let me go down here real quick let me see uh indian hill indian hill doesn't have anything to do indian hill is a completely different series that mark tufo got into there you go right there there you go right look at that lichen fallout yeah lichen werewolves so yeah he, he, he yeah he gives you everything he gives you everything i mean he gives you the whole gamut man of 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 this and but there's a lot he, it's a lot of contents a lot of books and and they're not bad you know they're they're really not so if you want to go down that dive you know it, it's definitely worth the price of admission so anyway that's all i got this video is going long it's 34 minutes uh if if you know you you want any more information you know i'll be happy to to uh, give you my thoughts about any book in particular if you have any recommendations for me i'd love to hear them down in the comments below if you have any questions criticisms whatever if you made it this far hey man i appreciate it please give me a thumbs up if you like it thumbs down if you don't subscribe for more content and i'll see you on the next one peace